y'all. Okay, so before we start this episode today, we want to take the time out to remind everyone that at Let's Talk, we encourage safe drinking. While we're having fun, it is important to be responsible and not put others in danger. So make sure you settle in like we do and drink responsibly. With that said, let's Let's Talk together. What's up, y'all? We're back. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What's that? Ooh. ooh. New month, new drink, liquor, whatever. Okay, are you are you ready? Mm-hmm. I'm kind of excited. I'm, I'm excited. excited. Yeah, this one's gonna be good. Okay, so periodically we've heard from you all that this is an area that we needed to cover. We mm-hmm. heard you, we just had to get some stuff out the way. But now we're ready to talk brunch drinks. <laughs> I love a thing. You know, usually we'll pick like a particular liquor type, like vodka or whatever, but this time, thing. Yes. Yes. And who doesn't like a good brunch drink, okay? So, you know, we're excited and there are some things that we're gonna try that we might be a little (laughs) about, but mostly we're excited, okay? Yeah. Don't do that because you made an expression a few weeks ago and I've had to relive it as we release our episodes. I'm like, why is she looking at me like that? Okay, anyway. You had your moment where I felt like there was a set up. Actually, I set up. (laughs) It's not a set up. I just feel like we can't try all the things that we want to try. We have to try some stuff we're a little nervous about. It don't matter, because that's not this recipe, okay? We're gonna start nice and easy. You know what? I just thought, have you ever seen Kenan and Kale? She's Kenan. And I'm Kale. Okay. I just suckered into this type of shit. But you know what? Let's go ahead. You just gotta trust me. Oh, here we go. Kenan, but we can't drive. Oh, here it goes. That's all it is. It's a trust factor. All okay. Right. All Get right. into it. This one seems simple. This one is simple. There's literally two ingredients and you'll get excited about it. Mm-hmm. So this is called a fresh Bellini. Everybody knows what a Bellini is, okay? It's kind of like your alternative to a mimosa. Mm-hmm. Um, and so the things that you need are champagne, okay? And a puree for whatever juice that you're gonna be using. In this case, we're doing a peach puree. Mm. We are aware that you can make your own peach puree. However, we here at Lazy Town decided to buy ours. Okay, mm-hmm. so <laughs> judge your mama. And why I talk for that? We wanna get straight to the drinking. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> we ain't got time for all that. So let's get started. Which yeah. We're gonna start with our puree. I should say both of these items should be chilled. Um, just make sure that you get maximum chillness in mm-hmm. your beverage, okay? You know what? Be careful with that. Oh, mm, right, okay, mm-hmm. thank you. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna try to put about two ounces or so of our peach puree. She's told me, mm-hmm, I see what you mean, it was mm-hmm. gonna be a situation. Oh, we eyeballing it, I like eyeballing. Well, you know. I'm late. Nope, cause this time we wanna be the same. Cause usually I come up short. The good, here's the thing, with the puree, I mean, depending Am on- Am I there? No. Depending on how you like your drinks, you may just decide you like a little less juice and a little more champagne. And ain't nothing wrong with that. Not okay. Nothing wrong with that. Yes, I pre-popped the bottle. I don't need to poke our cameraman's eye out or embarrass myself. So, pre-popped, okay? And we're gonna top this off with our champagne. We're using a brute champagne here. Mm, ooh, look at that. Look like a little lava lamp. <laughs> look like a little lava lamp. Oh, I can't. Okay, we're actually, it does look like a lava lamp. Um, we're gonna stir this up a little bit to incorporate our puree into the drink. I mean, I suppose you could leave it your lava lamp if you wanted to, but then you might not taste the actual puree. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's kind of fun, right? I have high hopes for this. I feel like champagne and one ingredient, mm-hmm. at the bar. like how bad could it be? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. so very simple, t- 
two ingredients. Mm -mm. Oh, extend the pinky. Oh. <coughs> Let's get it. Yep. Yep. This is definitely refreshing. I like this. You know, I still haven't forgiven you for that dirty martini. Oh, that felt so dirty. That was like dirty soap water. I'm not gonna lie to you. Soap water? What, what, what would you call it? Tub water. I don't know. What? I don't, I don't know. Do it, you it, eat Tupperware? I, did, I said tub water. Oh, I thought she said Tupperware. I was like, how are you eating plastic? I had questions. <laughs> um, okay, so you know how we do. Even mm -hmm. though we like this one, break it down. Tell me what you are thinking. Okay. I'm going to give this a 10. Why? It's simple. Two ingredients. It tastes good. It looks good. Everything about it, have no complaints. This, I like, and it's for a starter. I like this, yeah. we started off good. I, I had high hopes for it. Mm -hmm. um, I agree with your 10. I'm gonna also say 10, 10, 10 across the board, okay? Um, for one, if you gotta get bored with the traditional mimosa, I think this is a good alternative. Okay. And you don't have to use peach like we did. There's a variety of fruit juice or um, purees that you can use mm -hmm. um, in your Bellini. Um, and so you can make it your own. We just Pretty haven't much. used peach for this one. Yeah, you can do mango, strawberry, I mean. Guava. Right. You know how, I, like the whatever. The sky's the limit. Whatever you want to. Mm -hmm. And here's the thing, if you're in a party atmosphere, let's say you're hosting brunch, mm -hmm. this is something that you could easily make a picture of. Facts. So, you know, for entertaining purposes, uh, it's perfect. And, you know, when you go to bottomless um, brunch, mm. <laughs> You know how that goes. You have about seven of these, it's a good day. Might be sleep at 3 p.m. Julian. I don't know where I felt like I get a little drink around here, do you, bud? But or it's a good table. I, or at the table, not at, at the table. Well, I have seen, seen it. I have seen the at the table knocked out. It's, mm -hmm. it's interesting. It's interesting. Especially and if you go to those, <laughs> the brunch spots that turn like into the day parties after the show. Good show. I don't need nobody twerking over my chicken and waffles. So. <laughs> I prefer to separate the two, personally. I'm past, I'm past that stage. I passed the stage. I'm sorry. I do remember those days. <laughs> right? You're like, hey. Right. And you then don't get your sis Sarah thing. over here twerking over my French toast. I don't need that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't need that. Okay. So, okay. Overall, this is a good one. We're satisfied. Mm hmm. For um, sure, for sure. Let us know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe below. What is your go-to brunch uh, drink? Let us know. And also, how many of these do you think you're gonna have? But you can't have just one. <laughs> Definitely not. Okay, <laughs> we are gonna be big. <laughs>